sick and tired of living in this body. Of being in the condition I'm in. Sure, I want to feel good again. I hate being fat. I used to weigh 140 pounds. I look great. Now look. You know, I really want to lose this weight, but I don't know how to do it. I've tried it all. Diets, pills, programs. I don't know. I give up. Questions, confusion, depression, disappointment. Hi, I'm Richard Simmons, and I know from personal experience in my own life and in working with others that people out there who have a weight problem really don't feel good about themselves. Because being overweight is so much more than a number on the bathroom scale. It's a problem that often affects other parts of your life. It affects your attitude. It affects your health. It can affect your social life. It influences the way you perform at work. It touches your friends. You know it leaves its mark on your family. And most importantly, it lowers the level of self-respect and self-esteem you should have for yourself. Listen, if you're overweight right this very minute, don't you think it's time you dealt yourself a brand new hand? Deal and Meal is that hand a brand new weight loss program that has been tested with hundreds of people for the best results I've ever seen. I can promise you that if you follow this program of healthy, safe weight loss, you're gonna feel better, and you're gonna have more energy, and you're gonna feel more attractive inside and out. But before we begin, Deal and Mia, let's get a couple of things clear right now. A lot of people blame their weight hmm. problems on other people or other things. They blame their mother or their grandmother or some other branch of their family tree. They blame their job or their spouse or their kids. Some people blame a low metabolism or a thyroid problem. But it's time we stop blaming our circumstances, our loved ones or every other thing under the sun. The bottom line is you're the one who picked up Mr. Knife and Mr. Fork to begin with. You're the one who made the choice. You're the one who gained the weight. And now, you're the one who's going to lose it. Now, before you attempt to start this program, let's get your head strained out about losing weight. Now, there are dozens of so-called remedies for a weight problem. You probably tried some of them yourself. Some of you out there have taken diet pills. Some of you use laxatives. I get letters from people who wire their mouth shut. Others who order these miracle drugs on late night television that melt off the pounds in their sleep. Or those who bought these ridiculous plastic suits they get into and attach to their vacuum cleaners. Some of you, and I, I hope very few of you, have even tried to starve yourself in an effort to lose those unwanted pounds. Believe me, I've, I've seen them all. But let me tell you honestly, there are no instant, effortless, painless ways to lose weight. Stop kidding yourself. All those pie-in-the-thigh programs promising you could lose weight in your sleep or lose one to five pounds a day have kept you in the mess you're in now. If you're on pills, if you're taking shots, if you're trying any of these solutions to your problems, ask yourself, is what I'm doing now working? And if it's not working, then it's time to change. And deal a meal is the change for you. The only successful program for permanent weight loss must include one, good eating habits. Not good eating habits for a week or two, but good eating habits for the rest of your life. Two, an exercise program designed for you. And three, proper mental attitude. It's just that simple. There are no shortcuts to lose weight. Deal a Meal mm. is the program you've been looking for. Deal a Meal is designed to give you a proper respect for food and fitness, to teach you how to eat, how to get in shape, and keep in shape. It's not going to make you feel like you're starving. It's not going to make you a, a jittery, nervous wreck, keep you up all night, or have you spending the rest of your life in the bathroom. And Deal a Meal is designed to be your companion and help you to stay healthy for the rest of your life. Hmm. But one other ingredient is essential for successful weight loss, an ingredient only you can add. And that ingredient is willpower. 
the power to make decisions for yourself, the power to say no. Now, if somebody could bottle willpower, if, if somebody could package self-discipline and put it on the shelves, they would make a zillion dollars and all of your problems would be solved. Come on, answer me. Do you have any willpower? See if you do some of these things. Do you eat off other people's plates? I mean, people you don't even know. You see a pickle you want or half of a sandwich and your hand just seems to reach over. Do you actually eat a complete meal at home and then go over to someone else's house and they say, well, have you eaten dinner? And you say, no. Do you offer, come on, tell me the truth. Do you offer to help the hostess do the dishes because it gives you a chance to nibble and taste out of the pots and pans? When you watch TV, do you run to the kitchen during every commercial to look through the refrigerator? What do you think, the food fairy came and left something there with your name on it? Now, have you ever done this one? Do you go into a supermarket, find and open the Pepperidge Farm butter cookies, pop them all down as you stroll the aisles, and then throw the empty package behind the Huggies? When you visit someone else's house and stick your hand behind the sofa cushions and find an M&M, do you eat that M&M, lint and all? Do you eat in your car? Now be honest, isn't that pretty? There you are in your car, a hamburger in your left hand, the Coke in your crotch, the French fries on the dash. How appealing. If you do any of these things, my friend, then you are a compulsive eater. You have no self-discipline. Eating is almost an automatic impulse. What you need now is willpower. But you can't go buy it at the store like you buy a box of donuts. It has to come from inside. And the only way to get willpower and discipline is to do something over and over and over until it becomes second nature. Losing weight, following the rules isn't easy, but it can be fun, and that's what Deal & Meal is all about. Deal & Meal is a program for losing weight slowly and keeping it off. A program you can play and win every single day. You've all played cards before? Deal & Meal is a deck of cards. You play by dealing yourself breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even snacks buying your food and planning your meals with your deal and meal cards deal and meal is the first program that actually tells you on face value what to eat and how much to eat deal and meal is a visible tangible way of controlling your calories without counting them and deal and meal teaches you meal combination food groups and nutrition all to help you keep track of what's going inside that mouth of yours Still, with Deal a Meal, you can eat just about anything, planning your menus around the food you like. After all, how can you expect to live a normal life on an abnormal food program? We all know the best way to run a household is to budget the money we take in. And yet 80 million overweight Americans have never learned the value of budgeting the food they take in. Deal a Meal does just that. It budgets your food for you every day, but you'll never feel hungry and you'll never feel starved. You'll see, you'll actually be able to eat your favorite foods without living at the mercy of your appetite. And best of all, you'll look and feel the way you've wanted to for years. Before we get on with this, you need to do one important thing. You've got to admit to yourself that you've got a weight problem. That is the first step in losing the weight. If you're not willing to admit that point blank, then this program won't really mean anything to you. Now get out your book and flip it open to the height weight chart on page 8. Now listen. There are 50 million weight charts. Every doctor, insurance company, and college nutrition course has their own height weight chart. <laughs> and this is one of them. It is not written in stone. Moses did not carry it down from the mountain. To tell you the truth, I hate height weight charts. I hated them when I was in school. I hate them now. But the reason I put one in this manual is to give you a general idea of how much you're overweight how much you should be kind of weighing and what you're working toward. For instance, let's look at the chart. If you're a woman, five feet, six mm. inches, they say you should weigh somewhere between 120 and 160, depending on your build. 
So find a place in that zone where you are really comfortable. And if you weigh more than that, you're overweight. That's what this chart or any other chart is telling you. But the exact amount you should weigh may not be on the chart. Why? Because there are no ideal weights. This is only a fallacy of most weight loss charts. You don't really need this chart to determine how much you should weigh. You know how much you should weigh. You know when you look good. You know when you feel overweight. You should feel comfortable with your weight. No one is asking you to be Vanna White or Arnold Schwarzenegger. You are the only person who can determine your ideal weight. Suppose you decided you should weigh 135 pounds. If you weigh 165 pounds right now, right this very minute, that means you're gonna have to lose 30 pounds. Now figure out for yourself, for your own body, how much you have to lose. Figure out, look at the chart. How much do you have to lose? Now remember that number, whatever it is, that is how much you are going to lose with deal a meal. So now turn to page five in the front of the book. See the page with the blanks? Get a pencil, ooh, better yet a pen because you can't erase that. And fill those in right now. My name is, write your name right there, print it out nice and neat. I weigh, this is the hard one, but really be honest with yourself, put down what you weigh. And I'm going to lose, and fill in that blank, how much do you want to lose? Now look at those numbers every day, and below it, write out why you want to lose weight. State your reasons. Make a contract with yourself. Make copies of it to tape to your bathroom mirror, your refrigerator door. Pin one in the bathroom. Stick one in your car. Carry one in your wallet. This, my friend, is your reality. All right, now turn back to page nine. Now that you've made a commitment to yourself to lose weight, here's a weight goal chart to help you keep track of yourself. After all, if you're not keeping track of your weight, you tell me who should. Fill in your starting weight, your goal weight, and the pounds you want to lose, and then start to monitor your progress each and every day. Let me tell you something. You're going to amaze yourself. Now, don't let this busy work throw you. You may feel like you're filling out an insurance application, but this is your homework. After all, don't you think you should know your goals and your achievements and be responsible for them? And believe me when I tell you this, they're going to help you get your results. And lastly, please don't leave this book out where anyone else can see it. This is your own personal, private diary. And you're the only one who should write in it or read it. Deal and Meal is going to teach you how to care about yourself. From now on, your health and your weight is going to be your responsibility. Now, turn to page 12. With this chart, you're going to determine your daily caloric level. Now, you fall into a general category based on the number of pounds you have to lose. Let's say you're a woman with 30 pounds to lose. According to the chart, you will be limiting yourself to 1,000 calories per day for the first week mm. and 1,200 from the second week on until the weight is lost. If you're a woman 50 pounds overweight, you still start off at 1,000 calories the first week, moving up to 1,400 the second week. Now look over on the men's side of the chart. Men with under 40 pounds to lose will begin at the same, 1,000 calories the first week, and continue to 1,400 calories the second week. A man who wants to lose over 40 pounds will also start at 1,000 calories the first week, moving up to 1,600 calories from the second week on. Based on the schedule, if your goal is 30 pounds and you're losing two pounds a week, it's going to take you 15 weeks to lose that weight. Did you hear me right? 15 weeks, not 15 years, not 15 months. In 15 weeks, your 30 pounds will be a memory. Now here's how Deal a Meal works. The first week of the program is the most exciting. You're going to get off to a flying start. 
as you've noticed, for the first week, men and women all begin with 1,000 calories a day, regardless of how much they have to lose. Now, I know there are diet plans and food programs you that recommend 500 or 800 calories. But every doctor and every nutritionist we talk to says that you should never start a program on less than 1,000 calories a day unless you're under medical supervision. Those 1,000 calories are considerably less than you used to, so please be prepared. That first week will be a real trial for you, but it will be an exercise in willpower, committing you to the rest of the program. Now believe me, when you make it through those first seven days, you're already halfway home. Now whatever you do, don't fast during this first week. We've already brought some of you down from 2,000 or 3,000 calories to 1,000 calories per day. If you push your body much further, it may think you're starving yourself to death and hold on to every ounce of fat it can. Make sure you stay with the balanced, low-calorie plan. Now, let's take a look at the wallet and your deal -a meal cards. This is your new food Bible. The deal meal cards are the heart of this entire program. They are what makes the program so effective. Notice that the cards are different colors. The colors represent six food categories, oh, and two extra groups that I made up. You remember hearing about the basic food groups in school, don't you? Well, that's when you learn the importance of a balanced food program. Only now, you'll learn how to balance your eating by using these cards. So each food group has a different color card. Let's together look at them now. The red ones are for meat. The brown ones are for bread, grain, and pasta. The blue ones for dairy. Green for vegetables. Pink for fruits. Yellow for those fat cards. Purple for what I call freebies. And even a joker card for special treats or snacks. If you'll turn the cards over right now, you'll find a list of the foods each card will buy you. These are the foods you can eat in the exact portion you need to meet your weight loss goal. On the right side of the wallet are slots for your cards for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Deal a Meal is gonna teach you how to make meals for yourself that are part of a balanced food program. Every time you eat, You'll be moving cards from the left and center section of the wallet over to the right section. To find out how many cards you can use each day, turn to the daily caloric card limit chart. Ooh, that was a lot to say. On page 13. Are you there? Get to page 13. Let's start off with 1,000 calories per day. On 1,000 calories per day, you are allowed the following cards. When I call these out, Let's set up your deal and meal wallet right this very minute. Let's not wait, okay? Are you ready? Find the meat cards. That's the red cards. You can have three meat cards, so put three meat cards in. All right, next is three bread cards. They're the brown ones. Now find the brown ones and put them in, okay? Now the blue dairy cards. There's only two of them. Put them both in the wallet. Now the green cards are vegetable cards. Place three of them in your wallet. Then put in two of your fruit cards. Those are the pink ones. Next, pick up the really dangerous ones, the yellow ones, which represent the fat cards. You may have three fat cards. You also have one joker card and one freebie card. If your level for the second week is 1,200 calories, 1,400 calories or 1,600 calories per day. This chart will tell you exactly how many of each card you're allowed. Based on your calorie limit, these cards are your food inventory. They tell you the right amount of each kind of food that you should be eating per day in order to meet your weight loss goal. And the foods and portions included in Deal a Meal give you all the proper amounts of vitamins and minerals and the right balance of proteins fats, complex carbohydrates you need to keep your body healthy. So whether you're on 1,000 or 1,600 calories, you're always on a food program that's safe and balanced for your body. Now, take a quick look at your red meat card, for example. 
Now turn it over. Now you see there, these cards buy you one of these foods in these portions. You can have one ounce of beef, turkey, chicken, veal, or fish. Because meat is a protein group, this card includes other proteins. Now, now look down there. One egg is one meat card. One ounce of low-fat cheese is a meat card. If you want to have Parmesan cheese, you would have to pull a meat card when using three tablespoons. Hot dogs and peanut butter are on the meat card, too. But look how many fat cards you have to pull. We'll talk about the fat cards later. Look at the brown bread cards. Here you get half of a bagel, or half of a frankfurter roll, or half of a hamburger bun, because a whole roll or a whole bun is two pieces of bread and would cost you two cards. A half a pita bread, one small tortilla, three cups of popped popcorn, one half cup of spaghetti or cereal, a small corn on the cob, or a small potato, everything in that food group. Next. There's the blue dairy cards. Each one of these buys you, among other things, one cup of non-fat milk. But let's say you want a glass of low-fat milk. Since low-fat milk has milk fat in it, that food will cost you a dairy card and a fat card. Skim milk, on the other hand, won't cost you anything extra. You see, everything you eat adds up. The dairy card also buys you one half cup of non-fat frozen yogurt, any flavor. Flip over a green vegetable card. You can have a half a cup of cooked or one cup raw of any of these terrific vegetables for each green card. From artichoke hearts, asparagus, bean sprouts, beets, all the way to the end of the alphabet. Notice there's no lettuce or spinach on this card. That's because a few vegetables are on the freebie card. I'll talk about those in a second. Look at the pink fruit cards. One card equals one small apple, nectarine, orange, or pear. Now, go down the list with me. Melons, mm. citrus fruits, strawberries, raisins, all specified in the amounts that will allow you to limit your intake of calories while still enjoying these foods. For example, this card buys you one third cup of juice. That's one portion. Some of you out there have been drinking enough juice at one sitting for the entire family. If you were looking for sugar, it's on the fruit card. Three teaspoons or one tablespoon of sugar equals one fruit card. Now, take out that yellow card. This is the card that gets most people in trouble. You're holding in your hand the reason people are fat. If you're on 1,000 calories or 1,200 calories, you're getting three portions of fat daily, while the average overweight person is eating somewhere between 10 to 20 portions of fat every single day. Now, this card will buy you liquor, but look at the portion. Three quarter ounce of hard liquor is one fat card. Can you believe that? Two ounces of wine, yes, two ounces of wine is one fat card. And as you can see, liquor is very fattening. Oh. Go down the list with me. The fat card will buy you one teaspoon of mayonnaise, one mm -hmm. tablespoon of Italian dressing, one teaspoon of oil, one thin slice of crisply cooked bacon. Can you believe that just six nuts cost you one fat card? At Deal a Meal, we put a special emphasis on watching your fats, since this is what most of you eat way too much of. The purple card is a freebie card, hallelujah. That means we're gonna give you a few extra foods that you're just gonna get for free. The freebie card buys you two daily servings of diet soda, coffee, or iced tea. It also gives you unlimited amounts of herbal teas, lemon, salsa, and a whole list of spices. And there they are, lettuce and spinach and cucumbers. None of these cost you any extra cards at all. Just think of them as a little gift. Then, of course, there's your Joker card. This card will buy you a cup of diet jello, some frozen grapes, or plain popcorn, a dill pickle, or even a piece of celery with a little teeny bit of peanut butter on it. Use your Joker card for a light snack. 
Now, Super. let's play steal a meal. Take your wallet in your hand. You'll notice the right hand side has slots for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. As you eat your meals, slip your food cards into those slots, keeping track of everything you eat. For instance, let's build breakfast. Your food Ooh. cards are already in your wallet. Let's say you choose to have a half a grapefruit, a slice of toast with one teaspoon margarine on it, and two teaspoons of diet jam, and an eight ounce glass of skim milk. Doesn't that sound good? Now let's see what these choices will cost you in cards. The grapefruit half will cost you one fruit card. The toast, one bread card. The margarine, one fat card. The jam will cost one joker card. The milk, one dairy card. So pull out these cards. One fruit, one bread, one fat, one joker, one dairy, and one freebie. Now take those cards and slide those cards into the breakfast slot on the right side of your deal a meal wallet. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take a look at lunch. How about an open-faced mm -hmm. turkey sandwich with one slice of whole wheat bread, one ounce of sliced turkey, a teaspoon of mayonnaise, lettuce, sliced tomatoes, some carrots and celery sticks. The bread will cost you one bread card. The turkey, one meat card. Mayonnaise, one fat card. And for the tomato, carrot, and celery, one vegetable card. So now, let's move those cards over in your wallet to the lunch slot. Let's move them now. Get used to this. One bread. We're going to get used one meat, to this. One one fat, and one vegetable. Dinner time. Let's have a Dinner Chinese cream. stir fry. Mm -hmm. We'll use two ounces of diced skin, bone, chicken breast. Two cups of two. diced mm -hmm. raw vegetables. Stir fry with one teaspoon of oil That's good. and a dash of low sodium soy sauce served on a half a cup of cooked rice. Now, how much will that cost you in cards? Well, let's count them up. It will cost you two meat cards for the chicken, two vegetable cards for the assorted vegetables, one fat card for the oil, one freebie card for the soy sauce, and one bread card for the rice. So now take these cards and move them over now. Two meat, two vegetable, one fat, one freebie, and one bread. Place them all in the dinner slot in your wallet. Notice. Notice you still have one dairy card and one fruit card to use as you like for a snack. Now I ask you, is this weight loss program going to starve you? Never. And look, you've got all the right protein, fat, complex carbohydrates, everything your body needs. All we've done is plan your meals, taking out the stuff that makes you fat and leaving in everything that makes you healthy. For the first couple of months, I really suggest you keep your meals as simple as possible to get the calories you need. It's very surprising to find what is in most of the foods we eat. Now look in the back of your booklet for some simple menu suggestions to help you get started. Now listen up, because this is important. Once you have used up all the cards, you are done eating for the day. That means you've had the correct amount of protein, and I will. And fats, and the correct number of calories that day. You've had enough food, no more eating. That's why it's a good idea to space your meals evenly throughout the day. Now, when I first started doing this, I'd give people cards that come back at 11 a.m. and ask for more cards. I said, oh, the they would say, I need some more cards. And I would say, do you realize that between breakfast and 11 a.m., you've eaten 1,200 calories? I say to them, as I say to you, start budgeting your meals. Sometimes, if you know you're going out for dinner and it's going to be a big dinner, pull those dinner cards, place them in your right-hand dinner slot. Then plan your breakfast, lunch, and snacks from the remaining cards. The same applies if it's Sunday and you want a nice breakfast. Organize that meal with the cards in advance so you can space the remaining calories throughout the rest of the day. You can plan your calorie intake, but you are the one who's got to do it. No one's going to do it for you. No waitress is going to say, hey, 
you shouldn't have this or you shouldn't have that. You get angry at your mother or your friends watching what you eat. Okay, they're out of the picture. You are your own responsibility now. And Deal Emil is your nutritional guardian angel. This is the end of side A.